Well, this was a bad idea in the making, wasn't it? For those of you just joining me, I recently did a video review for the game Shaq Fu, which is around here somewhere, but I guess I misplaced it before I started filming this. thought it was in my Genesis, or... Oh, no, wait, there it is. Yeah, <laughs> here it is. It fell behind my stack of Genesis cartridges. But anyway, I did a review for this game last time, which you should totally check out, because it's my best review yet, and I think uh, a lot of people seem to like it. But anyway, in that review, I mentioned that I... Uh, that, that Shaquille O'Neal had a uh, soda brand named after him. And for shits and giggles, I actually happen to have the soda in my refrigerator. No, I'm not kidding. This is actually a real thing. They're all right here in front of me. Now, my initial plan was just have them in the review of Shaq Fu. I ate my lamp for a second there. But, uh... And then after that, I was going to donate these cans to Brad Jones of the CinemaSnob.com so we could do an episode of Brad Tries on them. Because, okay, um, a little backstory. When I was up at Otacon in Baltimore, Maryland back in August, I was staying at a hotel called the Wyndham Peabody. And about a block away, there was a 7-Eleven. We, uh, me and my friends, we, we went to the 7-Eleven to get some snacks because we were hungry and we showed up really late that night. There, we saw these huge ass cans of soda with Shaquille O'Neal's big mug on it. So I'm thinking, I gotta do something with those cans. There is, there is absolutely no way I, I can't include them in a video of mine somewhere down the road. Then I remembered I have a copy of Shaq Fu, so I'm like, Shaq Soda, Shaq Fu. It's like, it's like it was fate or something that I was supposed to review this game. But anyway, uh, I wasn't the only one who got the soda. Uh, mm, I think about five other people in my friend group, they tried it out, and every single one of them hated the thing. <laughs> they hated it. No matter what flavor they tried, they just could not seem to, uh, to like it. And, who oh boy, I am in for a treat, aren't I? But anyway, uh, you know, maybe it's still there, you know, if you live in Baltimore, Maryland, or you, you know, or you're not far from it, and you know where the Wyndham Peabody is, and or that particular 7-Eleven, it might still be there. It's been over a month, so I'm not really sure, and it's, the soda's probably discontin discontinued already, so it really wouldn't surprise me. But if you want to try it, that's the only place I can think of that uh, has it, because there's a 7-Eleven around here, I think. I don't know, I've just never seen anybody around here talk about how good Shaq Soda is. So, I don't think it's around here, and it's even got a smaller buzz on the internet, because I actually looked it up and I couldn't find thing one about it, other than the fact that it exists. I don't know why it exists, I don't know who's pro who is producing this thing anyway, probably looking at a can for that somewhere. Oh, it's being produced by Arizona Iced Tea, well, that explains it. I just could have looked there. Oh well. Yeah, let me do some research real fast, make sure I know why it was made. I have returned and I have found fucking all. I still don't know why Arizona thought it would be a good idea to put Shaquille O'Neal on their cream soda and then market it as a new soda brand. I, I, I really don't know. But anyway, uh, suppose you want me to try the flavors. I'm not looking forward to this at all. But I got my uh, little, gla little glass right here. I'm going to try them all individually. And again, these are freaking huge cans of soda, too. But luckily, I only paid a dollar for them. See, so check it out. 99 cents. Uh, you can buy a 24-ounce bo bottle of Fago with that. And at least uh, most of the, a couple flavors of Fago are really good. I especially like the blueberry, the blueberry blast kind, whatever the name of it is. I just know it's blue, and it's fucking delicious. But anyway, I don't usually like soda. Like, at all. I mean, uh, I used to drink it, like, every day, like, four or five cans a day, but then I got off the stuff because of health reasons. You know, it wasn't really, you know, hurting me or any way, not way that I could tell, but I felt like it would be healthier for me to get off of it, so I started drinking, like, um, this juice that I, that I found at the store, and I've been doing that, and I feel so much healthier, actually. I lost a bunch of weight, too, so... You know, as if a skinny guy like me needed to lose weight, right? But going back to this, um, I kind of can't drink soda very well anymore. Like, I mean, I, can't, I used to drink Mountain Dew all the time. I can't even finish one can anymore. I used to drink Pepsi all the time. I can't finish a can of Pepsi. I used to drink Dr. Pepper. Can't finish 
can of Dr. Pepper, and I can't finish a can of Coca-Cola, but I've never really liked Coca-Cola, so anyway, so suck it. But anyway, I say let's try out this, uh, Shack Soda. We have, uh, four flavors here. We have, uh, orange cream soda, vanilla cream soda, strawberry cream soda, and probably the one that I'm gonna try last is, uh, blueberry cream soda. This can actually looks different than the rest of them, because all the other ones have, like, this orange top. This here's got a white one for some reason. I don't know. Alright, so, uh, let's see here. I think I'll try the vanilla cream soda first, because, I don't know, I don't really like vanilla soda, so I figured may as well get the one I'm probably not gonna like the most out of the way. And, uh, before I started comment on Shaq's face, he's like, yeah. Hey, girl, hey! I saw you staring. What you doing, huh? I'm Shaquille O'Neal. I used to be famous, like, in the 1990s. I got some movies made about me, and I got a game that sucks ass. Let's just pop this fucker open. Ooh, yeah, that's really strong vanilla. Can't smell it, but, uh, yeah, it smells like vanilla. Yeah, let's take a look at this, what this stuff looks like. Uh, oh, it looks like urine. Carbonated urine is what it looks like, huh? Alright, uh... Thumbs up. Oh, man! Oh, man! Oh, it's like if someone poured diet soda into vanilla ice cream and then just, you drank it. That's, that's it. Oh, man. That is, that is shacktastic, shacktastically awful. Uh, let's try the strawberry cream soda right now. He's like, yeah, I see you looking at me. I will lick that pussy. I'm gonna lick it, cause I'm Shaq. Whoa. All right, let's try this one out. Not a very strong strawberry smell, but it smells kind of like, um, like if you were to go out and buy Hershey uh, strawberry syrup, you ever try that stuff and like put it on ice cream? It smells like that, like a really weak kind of that anyway. Let's take a look. It's probably pink or something. <laughs> it looks like redder urine, and it looks pink in the camera and stuff. But it it really looks like like there's a little blood in urine. Oh my god, what's the blue one gonna look like? Freaking Doctor Manhattan's piss. Oh man! Oh god, that is even worse than the vanilla one. <clears throat> ah, got the vanilla one. It had like a was really sweet first taste when you hit your tongue. This one just did not. It, it really tastes like uh, someone took that Hershey vanilla syrup I was telling you about a second ago and then poured like carbonated water onto it. That's all it tastes like. It's nasty. Oh my god, that is. Mmm. Eh, that is bad. I would recommend that to Nazis. To Nazis, that's just bleh. All right, let's try the orange cream soda. I don't even like regular cream soda, but this stuff is bleh. This one, I think I figured it out why they're all cream soda because Shaq has jizzed in them all. Want to know why? I'm pretty certain this is his cum face, and he looks like he's going to eat you, and not in the way he looks like he's going to eat you on the strawberry can. Let's try this one out. I like orange soda. Maybe this one won't be that bad. Actually smells like oranges. Like that, uh, those citrusy orange drinks. Stuff like, well, it smells, actually smells more like tangerine. Think about it. Um, ooh, that one's fizzy. And, as not surprising to me right now, it looks like carbonated piss. <laughs> Thank you, Arizona Ice Tea, for bringing me, making me drink carbonated piss with Shaq jizz in it. That's a quote for the books. Tastes bland. I mean, I barely taste the orange at all, actually. I taste more of the cream, less of the orange. Like, it's, like, it was, like the orange was an afterthought. Like, put oranges in it. That's how they did this one, and, uh, okay, uh, 
But so far, it's the best tasting one, and it tastes like, uh... I just had a whole drink of nothing with a squeeze of orange. Or tangerine. Probably tangerine. Too cheap to buy an actual orange. But okay, let's try the one that, uh, I've been saving for last. Gotta say, also, my stomach kind of hurts, and I've only had, like, four swigs of this stuff. Like, little, those little dabs you've seen me drink, that's all I've drank out of this, and my stomach is actually starting to hurt a little bit. Oh, man. Imagine if I had downed all four of these huge-ass 23.5-ounce cans. That'd be terrible. Alright, let's try the blueberry cream soda. And got Shaq's smiling mug on there like, yeah. You know you want to drink my soda, don't you? Drink it. Drink it real good. I'm afraid. I'm very afraid. Okay. Well, it smells like blueberries. You know, like it's not like the other orange one, which, which was just kind of there. Or the strawberry, which was, which was, um, you know, you could smell the berry there. This one's actually pretty, pro pretty prominent berries. I'll be purple. Why can't it be grape? I like grape soda. It's not even purple. It's piss water again. What the heck? You can't even get a purple drink to be purple. Oh. Oh god. I'm a little afraid. I don't know how to react to that one. It's not good. It's definitely not good. Like, at all. But it's... Wait. Wait, hang on. There's the flavor. Uh, much like the orange one, it's just kind of there as an aftertaste. Oh, my God. Oh, this stuff is... Bleh. Ugh. I feel sick after... Actually, after eating, after drinking this stuff. I'm not even kidding, like, my stomach hurts. These, I know these cans are, like, over a little over a month old, but soda can keep for years. Like, you can still find, can like, bottles of Crystal Pepsi that still got some carbonation in them. But, oh, my God. Uh, you can't see it now, but, uh, you know, I'll just show it to you. I can't turn it sideways. It has no artificial color. Looks like piss water. All of it looks like piss water. Uh, my stomach hurts. And this shit is disgusting. Oh my god. So yeah, that's uh, that's Shaq Soda for you. I'm just gonna tell you right now which order I thought was the best as I pour this shit down the drain. I think orange was the best, but you still go first because I'm home holding you. Yeah, just get down there. I still a lot of soda for a buck. Not worth it though. Blueberry kind was the second best. Still crappy. Oh, it actually is a little more purple. Mm, it's slightly buttier urine. Nummy. Uh, yeah, get down there. All of it. Get it all down there. That's a, that's a drain drink. It drinks everything. The pig. Uh, you know your career is at a low point when sh when you put out Shaq Fu and you're the star. And that's not even the lowest part in your career. It's putting out a shitty soda. Oh, yeah. Get all of it down there. It's orange, by the way. Or is it vanilla kind? Oh, it's the vanilla kind, yeah. Yeah, it's vanilla kind. That's vanilla. Yeah. Whatever, I'm losing track. I'm sick. This stuff made me sick for crying out loud. And, of course, the worst kind there is, the strawberry kind. Because, Jesus, H. Christ, this stuff tasted like crap. Ugh. This is where the shack soda should all go from now on. And the drain. So yeah. Thanks for watching. See you next time.